What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. I just think that when you have a heightened sense of awareness um, for a community, right? So... What I was saying is I believe that, I should put this on here, huh? Let's see. I believe that, yes, people are sensitive. You know why people are sensitive? Hold on. Dave Chappelle's um, special yesterday. I watched it in the middle of the day. Um, I laughed a lot. A lot of the times when he did, I found that when he did get on the, like, he hit everybody. He hit everybody. He barely touched black women. He just mentioned black women in a sense of clapping. When somebody is clapping, he said, where'd you learn that from? Black bitches. That's the, that's the only thing that he said about black women. The only thing. Um, he talked about everybody. Like, he talked about everybody. Go watch it. If you don't want to watch it, that's fine. But he talked about everybody, and I felt like he was, um, said he, because he kept saying, he kept saying, oh, I'm going all the way. Yeah, like, I felt like that was intentional. Like, I'm going to touch everybody. I'm going to touch all of the situations going on here. I don't agree with his stance with um, the baby. I don't, you know how I feel about that, that whole situation. But my thing is like, you know, I feel like, especially because when I, when I really stopped laughing and started listening, because Dave Chappelle, whether you like him or not, someone who can watch society look at society be a part of society and then take what they observe and make jokes out of it the 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 harshest part of our society the tragic parts of our society comedian comedian a good comedian can take the so society and make fun of it right no matter how uncomfortable it is that's part of what comedy is and what it's supposed to be this idea of somebody punching down, right? Um, I've seen every Dave Chappelle special. And you know how I feel about LGBTQ community, IA community. I feel like Dave Chappelle would not, in good conscience, punch down to a group of people. The joke, you might not have liked it, right? But punching down, I don't, that's not even the way that his template, that's not even his template, right? Um, and the style of comedy that he comes out with, there's no punching down. It's literally everybody can get it. Anybody can get it. And I, I think I've, I feel like I've said this before about Dave Chappelle. Um, Dave Chappelle is a Virgo. Um, he is a Virgo. He actually, him and I share the same birthday as Ava DuVernay as well. Um, he's a Virgo. Um, we overthink, we analyze, we think about things. But there's there's this bias, right, that we have and that he has as a man. And I, and I, no, and I noticed it with Charlemagne too. As for some men, as evolved in their thinking... And as aware of what is happening in the world, before I get to that, the heightened sensitivity, everybody's sensitive, right? That's the thing. You guys are just sensitive. You guys are just sensitive. That for me looks like a cop out to say, I want to be able to talk shit about your community and you not say anything. That's what that looks like to me. I do think that 
with the visibility of trans people and the and them being empowered to show themselves and to live out loud and in color right and to be bold and to not cower and to not hide themselves anymore with the visibility of trans people in our community because the people are not used to it you are going to have to adjust and as uncomfortable as it might be but you're going to have to adjust because now you need to make space for other people because these other people are not hiding anymore they're not um they're not not being clear that or proud that they are tra I'm trans and this is what it is yes with a heightened awareness of a protected group in your community making themselves visible there has to be heightened sensitivity why because you're introducing you're introducing a new group into society right and it's not an introduction it's more so here come come on come on you can sit right here next to me you could sit. I'm making room for you so now I need to make sure that how I relate to you is more sensitive because I I don't know I'm not, I'm not saying like for me and we all don't know we're all learning now when we say we're all learning, I'm speaking to the people who truly want to learn. I'm speaking to the people who are not just asking questions or ask being facetious or trying to be slick or trying to say something smart or be condescending. I'm not talking to those people who say, I'm just trying to learn. I'm just trying to understand. No, you're not. And everybody knows that you're not, right? I'm talking to those people who truly want to learn and are not having excuses about how they are relating to trans, the trans community. I do feel like with a heightened awareness of a group of people, there must be heightened sensitivity, right? It's like you're introducing or you're welcoming a new group of people into the space the, the only natural course of action for me would be how is it that you want to be treated, right? That comes with mutual respect, right? If you're coming into space and you're being visible, then there is there has to be a mutual respect in order for us to coexist. And that's what it is. But for some odd reason... Once again, the focus is on just trans women. Nobody's really talking to trans men. But there is this coded bias with men. And when I tell you they stay on code, like I feel like asking for the community not to abort the baby no he needs to be aborted he is going to come out with little fangs and little horns and a tail a little cut off tail in the bag it's gonna be a little nub in the back right above the crack of his ass no abort the baby because what happens and what i don't think that black people understand people who are anti-gay anti-lgbt i'm not going to say you're you have a phobia because although your the your irrational mind and how you 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 look at this community it, it comes off very it, illogical and irrational it really doesn't make a lot of sense so that's why it's considered a phobia because it's like what what sense does this make um and so I feel like with black people, there is this community of people who are against LGBTQIA+. They are against women. There is a group, right? And they don't understand that 
while you can terrorize other black men and while you can terrorize other black women and while you can terrorize black children, while you can literally terrorize your communities that you are in, when your terrorism focuses on LGBTQ, you are now broadening your scope. It is not just black people who are LGBTQ. So while you might be anti-black, anti-woman, anti-gay, right? When you start fuck when you start messing with the anti-gay ideologies, and when you start operating from that perspective, you are now touching non-black LGBTQ. So while we don't care that you're killing your, your peers, we don't care that you're raping and murdering your women. We don't care that you're raping and killing and trafficking your children. When you start talking about LGBTQ, you're talking about a lot more people. Okay, thank you. Hi, may I have a um, venti vanilla latte with oat milk? Okay, venti vanilla latte, oat milk. Is that gonna be hot, right? It's gonna be hot, extra hot, please. With, um, um, can you make that a triple? Triple shot, okay? Yeah, and then um, no foam. You said with what else, right? No foam. And a cheese Danish, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Ten ten. Thank you. You understand what I'm saying? And I think what happens is you have this loyalty to manhood, and you want space to be made for the baby and his anti LGBTQ rhetoric you want them to make space for him and that's not happening because you have offended more than just black people when you fuck with LGBTQ and that's the bottom line that is literally the bottom line. Hold on, let me find my card. Oh. It's literally the bottom line. So while you're like, oh, you guys bully us. Yeah, because actually the people you're bully bullying are now wh those white racist gays that don't like niggas in the first fucking place. Especially black men. They only like black men for your dicks another group who object who happily objectifies you right and so when you start talking about anti lgbtq you're talking about those white racist gays that don't fuck with niggas at all so call elton john get elton john on the phone get madonna on the phone the largest representation and of you know lgbtq is like madonna and motherfucking Elton John. Now you done fucked with the wrong. You done, you know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up. Yes. So while he did kill a man in the Walmart, people are okay with that. While he slapped a woman in uh, at a concert, people are, are okay with that. Other black people are okay with that. This is something that we've accepted in our community. Even the anti-LGBTQ because if it was just if he if, if LGBTQ only was exclusive to black people nobody would say it nobody would say a word nobody hi thank you Oh, wait, actually, no. 
Thank you. You too. Thank you. Because being anti-woman, being anti-gay in the black community largely is acceptable. It's acceptable. So, but it's not acceptable for those white, racist, LGBTQ folks. They don't like you niggas in the first place. And now you want to say... Oh, you want to say something about gay people? Okay. So Dave Chappelle saying, please don't abort the baby. No, 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 no. If you want to talk to the black community, they'll accept him back because he has done the most degenerate, low vibrational shit that you can do within a community and terrorize them. And he's been accepted and uplifted and emboldened. But no, he's going to be aborted because you cannot talk about a collective group of people and get away with it outside of the black community and that's just what it is you don't have to like it you don't have to love it you don't have to like it or you don't you don't none of it it doesn't matter it, it it's bigger than you actually it's bigger than your little black world actually and it include like what what's crazy for me is like you don't even think when you're talking about lg black lgbtq first of all you don't even see black lgbtq but you're anti-gay, right? You don't even include them. Then, but then on top of that, you're anti-gay. Then when you get called out for being anti-gay, you're like, well, what, what, what? I could kill people in Walmart and nobody's going to say anything. Yeah. Because you've hit more people. 